Hi guys, Leonard here. Welcome back to another update video for Far Cry 5. In this one, I want to go over some more info on the upcoming game in regards to the types of stuff we know about the co-op mode, which was showcased at Paris Games Week this week. But first, as always, if you find the video useful, like is super appreciated. And with that being said, let's just jump into this. Far Cry, the game series has had its ups and downs, but one of the best and biggest features for the upcoming game will be the new open world co-op feature. It's something we did not see in Primal, and it's something that they added to Far Cry 4, but in a much more limited capacity, and it was limited to side missions only. This co-op version for Far Cry 5 will allow another player to drop in and out of playing with the other player anywhere in the large open game world in the exact way you can for other awesome games like Dying Light, which is probably the best example. Which of course if you're just playing it on your own is a very fun game, but playing a co-op adds in so much more to the way you play and I think it's going to be a huge addition to Far Cry 5. I think these days single player games especially as they start to get so big open worlds can take a long time to cover and can start to get very boring on your own so adding a friend is a very cool feature even in a game like Skyrim which is primarily single player RPG but you do get a co-op mod for the game and it's very well liked just for that exact reason and I don't know about you guys but I always find it more exciting to travel around a large open map with a buddy. So for Far Cry 5 as soon as you complete Far Cry 5 tutorial you can play the open world shooter co-op online with a friend Ubisoft has confirmed. You can play through the entire campaign in co-op, your friend for hire appears as a custom player character and can fight alongside you through the game dropping in and out with full voice chat support. You can share ammo and health packs and can even turn on friendly fire if you want to live dangerously. Players will teleport to the host if separated which is a very useful feature. It's also worth noting however that only the host can accept missions, recruit and command guns for hire and keep the progress made in the world. Your friend keep all their progression as a player and retain any cash, guns, perks and loot that they earn except for items unlocked through missions. Which is just standard for these types of games so nothing new there to worry about. Finally one limited feature is the game doesn't support matchmaking. Your co-op friend is limited to your friends list so it's like adding a couch co-op system but you can still play separate consoles. So perfect for someone like me my favorite games are always open world games and more specifically open world co-op games. So I'm really looking forward to Far Cry 5's new co-op system. Hopefully the game's good. It looks awesome so far. The trailer has a whole bunch of cool stuff in it as well, weapons, cars, trains, planes, and I can't wait to try it out and I will of course keep you guys updated on more info as we get it. So that is about it for this video guys, hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did a like is super appreciated, comment down below, let me know what you guys think, whether you enjoy co-op or playing solo in this style of game, but either way, thanks for watching, stay awesome as always, and I will see you all in the next video.